Welcome, welcome to the best five minute wine podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the seed to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the best five minute wine podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, great minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is. We continue our conversation with Tommy Welford, General Manager of Dukeman Family Winery in Driftwood, Texas. Tell me a little bit about how the tastings and tours work. So when you make a reservation, you will come in. Um, it's a stand-up bar. We do have seating if somebody is, is unable to stand or is uncomfortable for somebody to stand. But there are six wines that is pre-selected. And then you'll have a personal attendant that will take care of you and walk you through all of the wines. That's just our regular tasting. And then we do offer an option called a private tour and tasting. So that starts off per person. And then you'll book that at least seven to 10 days in advance. And then you'll go through my wine club manager, who's also the director of uh, hospitality here. She will set you up and then you'll have your own private bartender slash servant. And then they'll sit you down at a table, fully linen, like a little bit more on the higher end of things. It starts off with either a cheese and charcuterie plate, which is nicely done by our in-house chef. And then you'll have those six wines as well, but you'll be self-guided and it's still the six wines, but halfway through those wines, you'll get a personal tour of our actual facility. They'll take you in the back and show you and explain to you how uh, our wine is made and produced here. And then you'll go into the barrel room, which is really nice. And also when it's Texas summer, it's also 50 degrees back there. So it really feels really good as well. Uh, But you might take a nice little photo walk and then you head back to your private table and then finish off the taste. Do you have a vineyard on the property? There is a vineyard when you drive up, but when we split the restaurant and the winery, as I mentioned before, uh, the restaurant got that vineyard. What kind of tour options are available? The classic tour that you would reserve online is we give you a 45 minute window for that. It usually takes about 30, depending on the questions that the the guests may have, um, depending on how intricate they want to get into it. But we allow up to 45 minutes, but it's common for a four top to be finished within 30. Okay. And then our PTT, I'm sorry, our private tour and tasting, we allow for, depending on the size, we have one right now actually going, a bachelorette party, which is 12 ladies. It's probably gonna be about an hour and a half-ish, but we also have one coming up on Monday that's 50 people. So obviously we're gonna allow about two and a half hours for that. <laughs> I, I can only imagine, I've seen the uh, the movie Bridesmaids and I can only imagine when you get all those ladies celebrating at a winery, <laughs> it, it's it's game on. It is, We uh, since we're so close to Austin, I feel like Austin is the bachelorette hub. Everybody from all over the United States goes to Austin and then they look for things to do. And every Saturday it doesn't fail that we'll get about five, four to five bachelorette parties in here at one time and it's, it is a lot of fun. To take the tour and to sample when the customer comes up into the uh, parking lot, can you describe what that might look like? Once you turn off of uh, FM 150, which is the road we're off of, you'll pull into this driveway that's a kind of a nice grand entrance where it has the restaurant's name on one side and it'll say Dugan Family Winery on the other. And you'll cross through a big gate and then starts about a quarter mile long driveway, which you will see on the right-hand side that the vineyard that we're speaking of right now and it kind of goes all the way down for that full quarter uh, quarter mile. And then right on your left after that, you will notice uh, a beautiful restaurant, which is an Italian restaurant to your left. And then if you just keep driving just a little bit past that, you'll see these giant oak trees. And then you pass under those and then you come into the Dukeman Family Winery side and you will look to your left and you'll see a very, very large building that looks almost like it's meant to be in Tuscan, Italy. It's built after a villa actually from Tuscany. So uh, it's a great looking building. We have a beautiful lawn out front and then you walk through the archways and then you'll be right inside with nothing but uh, beautiful uh, field stone all over the walls and to your left is your tasting room. I imagine that you get a lot of people after they experience just a tasting and a tour that they think, oh boy, I should have booked my wedding here. You know, we do get a lot of those, those people that just randomly walk in just for a tasting and they see that we have a 4,000 square feet event center. They all like to look at it and we have these packets already ready for them. So we do book a lot of weddings and rehearsal dinners and, and also corporate events too, just last minute because they didn't know we even existed. Thank you for listening. I'm Forrest Kelly. This episode of the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast was produced by iHism. If you like the show, please tell your friends and pets and subscribe. Until next time, pour the wine and ponder your next adventure. Adventure.